All right, good morning. Welcome to the Hicks Hooks channel. We're down here fishing the Outer Banks. Uh, got some southern fin kingfish down here. Fishing on a bottom rig. Put the shrimp on this guy. Uh, weather's just changed a little bit. Waves are picking up. Uh, it's changed from a south, 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 southeast wind to a northwest. So we'll see what we can do. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. All right, let's go back. Go get some more. Here we go. All right, here we go. Nice clear morning. We're gonna go and see what this trough looks like. We'll go for a swim and see if we can find some fish. What'd you say? I'm gonna go in there and see if I can find some fish. All right, good morning. Welcome back to the Hicks Hooks channel. It is the uh, middle of July and it's a little bit cloudy. A storm came through last night. The wind was blowing east, southeast and switched over to northwest. So we're blending like a five mile an hour northwest wind pretty gray and foggy out right now uh but i'm basically gonna be throwing my bottom rig i'll put some shrimp on this guy to my high low i got the perfect uh the perfect bottom rig set up here so you guys can check that out in my other video and then i'm um, throwing shrimp and then up here in case we see him jumping out there some blues and some spanish mackerel I haven't seen anything yet this morning it's like 6 15 just got out here but in case of that we'll be throwing one of these clark spoons and that thing's a one and a half ounce minnow. And that thing I can get way out there. I've got 20 pound braid on here with a 30 pound uh, fluoro leader to keep it from uh, getting bit off. That's my bike guard right there. So like I said, I'm just casting right in these little breakers, right where these blue waves are rolling in. A lot of people are casting really far out. They're not catching anything this morning. So let's see what we can get. Casting short in the breakers. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. And Bob gave me some uh, frozen shrimp last night, so we gotta thaw these guys out first. Quick little trick. If you get these frozen boxes of uh, shrimp, they're good. These uh, shore and lake, sea lake and shore, but uh, just get a little salt water in there. Does the trick. A couple times and then it's already melting right there. So there we go. Got my one little shrimp out there. We're gonna cut that into two pieces, put it on, and then uh, we're good to go. Put those back in the cooler. How you doing? Two. 
don't you all the time, man. Oh, get the hell out of here, I really, man? God. Cool, man. I appreciate I was it. Like, I got some fishing in duck. That's <laughs> awesome, man. I'm looking these yeah, these Spanish are jumping. They've been cracking all morning. So I just dude, I parked my car and dropped the stuff off. And my brought my buddy was still asleep, and I said, dude, they're Spanish mackerel jumping right now. Yeah, they, they've been they've been cracking all morning. Right through here, one just I know. There. Did it really? Yeah. All right, yeah, I'm running around like an idiot right now, but that's me. I know what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thanks for watching my stuff. <clears throat> Pretty morning. Oh, damn it. That is right there. Oh. Everyone's getting into them today. Getting some sea mullet. Everyone's hitting the sea mullet. Got some flounder out there. Uh, it's just a beautiful day. People are using fish bites. Uh, I'm sticking with my shrimp and some cut mullet, but you know, just throwing short. Water's warmed up to about 80 degrees. Spanish mackerel was jumping earlier. Hopefully, we get some of those on tape too. But yep, this is what we came down here for. They keep you action. middle of July. The weather's been changing every day I've been down here so far. Last night it was blowing northeast and now it's switched over to southwest so it'll be interesting to see what happens. The water's still pretty calm out here because that dune's kind of blocking the wind um, but like always I've got my ugly stick seven foot medium heavy rod all right. I've got my uh, size four hooks on a high low rig or a bottom rig. This is my perfected rig. Um, I'm wrapping these, uh, wrapping these hooks around here. You see my video on that one also, and I've got a two ounce sinker. Um, and I'm just going real short, right where these waves are breaking. So hopefully we'll see what uh, we can get into today. And uh, fingers crossed we catch some fish. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe.
little bit different. Huh, it's crazy. Interesting. All right, so we've cut this guy up into some bait. So we just do a little scaling right here. And they get bait off the spot. You're just gonna do strips vertical like that. And you're gonna come underneath here. And lay those things right off of there. Two nice little pieces. You probably get like one, two, three, six, six on each side, so a dozen strips. It's not bad. Fresh bait. All right, here we are. We're back down here. Uh, it's like the fourth day we've been down here fishing in a row. The weather's changed a lot. The first day it was blowing southwest. Next day, the wind shifted to like a northeast. It started getting really warm in here. It was like 80 degrees at one point, dropped down to 76. Last night, the wind picked up and shifted again to a south southwest wind. It's blowing like 11 miles an hour. And now this water's cooled down to like 66 degrees. So. You know, it's kind of weird with the water change, I mean, the wind change and the water change, different fish come in here and you never know what you're gonna get every morning. But the first day we're down here, we caught lots of mullet. Second day, we saw some Spanish mackerel jumping out there. Um, third day, we caught a couple few small mullet and more spot and some other kind of bottom feeder fish. So today we'll see what happens. I took one of those spot, cut a big chunk out of it. I threw it on this fish finder rig. All right, I got a two ounce weight on there i might have to throw a three because he's well the water's picked up a little bit and then on my high low or my bottom rig i've got a little cut piece of spot up here and a shrimp so i'm gonna see what we can do sometimes a spot will bring out like a blue or something that's not usually going to hit a shrimp so it's always nice to mix up your bait um so here we go fingers crossed we're catching fish today i'm excited mm. We got two, we got a spot on the top and a croaker on the shrimp. I'm gonna throw this croaker on the uh, live line. All right, here we go. So all I'm gonna do here, get yourself a nice small little croaker. This is what we were using to the trout. So, we went fishing the other day inshore with my man Dave Lusk, captain of Salt Mine and Charters. Great captain. If you get a chance to go out, kid friendly because you're in the sound. You can do a half day, you can do a full day or three quarter day, but pretty reasonably priced. But, anyways, we we're catching tons of speckled trout the other day, which are delicious to eat. And uh, this croaker right here it was our bait, just this size, a little candy size. We're going to hook it through the top lip. All right, we're not going to close those lips because According to Dave, that's gonna kill them because they're not gonna get the uh, water through and oxygenate. So we're just going through the top of the head here. Open up, buddy. Just like that. Just look it right to the top lip. He's kicking around, gonna stay alive a little bit longer down there.
that's about it. Got a bunch of little croaker this morning. Got a nice skate. Got a couple pieces of bait left, so I'm gonna lose my bait and just uh, enjoy the sun and the cool air coming off the ocean. And uh, you know, as long as you're down here catching something, you're having fun. That's how I look at it. One day we'll catch the prize fish, but most times you're just down here catching. So thanks again for tuning in. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. Nice. That's a keeper flounder, yeah? Yeah, but unfortunately they're out of season. Oh, that's right. October's the season, huh? September 15th, 29th. Oh.